Her own phone and her own private conversations were used so often to control her. That and more shocking allegations in the latest Britney Spears documentary from the New York Times have led Britney's legal team to speak out and take action. I just want to be a happy person. Here's what we know. Friday saw the release of Controlling Britney Spears, the follow-up to this year's headline-making documentary, Framing Britney Spears. Just because you're in control doesn't give you the right to treat people like property. The hour-long special features brand new claims about just how much control the conservatorship has over the pop star's everyday life, with the most shocking allegations coming from a former employee of the security firm hired to watch over the singer. They, they openly talked about monitoring her. Their, their reason for the monitoring was, you know, looking for bad influence, looking for potential, you know, illegal activity that might happen. That employee says Britney's father, Jamie, as well as other members of her team, monitored any communication on the singer's phone, including private phone calls and messages. You would be able to see all messages, all FaceTime calls, notes, browser history, um, photographs. There are also claims that some of Britney's private spaces, like her bedroom, were bugged with recording devices. It's unclear if Britney was aware of any of this and whether the judge presiding over Britney's case approved any of it. It's important to keep in mind mirroring text messages and recording conversations in a private place without the consent of both parties involved can be a violation of the law. Her own phone and her own private conversations were used so often to control her. I know for a fact that Jamie would confront Britney and say, hey, why did you text this person? In response to these claims, a lawyer for Jamie issued a statement to the New York Times. It said in part, quote, all of his actions were well within the parameters of the authority conferred upon him by the court. I once again want to thank Britney Spears for her courage and for her strength. Meanwhile, Britney's attorney, Matthew Rosengart, blasted Jamie in his response to the allegations. Rosengart said, quote, any unauthorized intercepting or monitoring of Britney's communications, especially attorney-client communications, which are a sacrosanct part of the legal system, would represent a shameful violation of her privacy rights and a striking example of the deprivation of her civil liberties. Rosengart's statement continued, these actions must be fully and aggressively investigated. We pledged that after 13 years of the status quo, my firm and I would move aggressively and expeditiously to file a petition to suspend and remove James P. Spears. The reaction from Rosengart follows similar statements he's made amid the ongoing court battle, that even if Jamie is removed as conservator, Britney's new legal team will continue digging into her father's conduct throughout the conservatorship. So what does Britney make of these allegations? Well, she may have given her fans a hint. Britney shared this video to Instagram on Monday, using the caption to call out misinformation from a new documentary about her. But here's the thing, she did not clarify which documentary. Controlling Britney Spears was released on Friday, but another documentary, this one titled Toxic, Britney Spears' Battle for Freedom, aired Sunday on CNN. The fascination and concern surrounding Britney has reached fever pitch over the past few months. There's also a Netflix doc set for release this week. For the moment, all we know is what Britney wrote in her message. Quote, I watched a little bit of the last documentary, and I hate to inform you, but a lot of what you heard is not true. These developments come just days ahead of what could be a pivotal court date. On Wednesday, a judge is expected to respond to Britney's request to remove Jamie from the conservatorship, as well as her father's own petition to terminate the conservatorship altogether. ET will be on the scene to report on this potentially game-changing day in court.